Um, I am absolutely always in awe that uh, light, uh, from the time I was very young, of course I had to wear these bandages, patches over my eyes for, it seemed like forever as a child, I thought they would never come off, mm -hmm. and it was darkness, such darkness all the time, and all the time I was always trying to rip, and I, to this day I can still smell the, what, the, what the bandage smells like, you know, and every time I smell a certain kind of tape, it reminds me of it, and it brings me back to those moments of darkness. And, and I think that that's why light, painting light was so important and that's why watercolor became so important because watercolor has that translucency that allows light um, so well. And that's why I became very, very... And I, you know what, I think watercolor. that's why your style is so widely embraced around the world is you do paint light, you paint hope, you paint life. Mm -hmm. um, there, and you do that purposefully, don't you? You, you, oh, you do not and, paint any and, negative or conflict, it's, it's peace. And it's again, I want, again there's, a story with every, there's a story with every painting. Absolutely. In fact, people think that I make up some. I've actually said people, oh, it must. Be. I just had a woman the other day say, oh, it must be wonderful to lit to to paint in another era from another era. And I think that's not. A, this is my life. This, this is, is my family. Era. This yeah. is my family. This is. And, but, and I said I live in an 1829 home with lot, surrounded by lots of antiques. So I think people do get that impression, you know, that this is why I, 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 they think it's another era, mm -hmm. but it really isn't. But um, oh, I forgot where I was going with this now. <laughs> You live in that era. I live in that era. Yeah. 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 Across the country, you may not be familiar with Niagara on the Lake where you live, but I mean, all the houses there True. are, you know, from True. the 1800s I and it's surrounded by beautiful, 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 mm -hmm. beautiful Victorian. And town. you feature a lot of that in your artwork. In fact, we've got some pieces here on the coffee table. Uh, starting at this end, the plate. And I know you've named each of your pieces, mm -hmm. of course. Yes, from the, from the original painting. And this mm -hmm. first one here, of course, was from All is Calm. Uh, it taken from a, you know, a full painting. This is just a vignette of it, of course, for the painting. This is the back of my uh, of our home in our rose garden. Mm -hmm. I painted that's one it. of your children. Yeah, it's one of my children. Oh, well, that's what I started showing before that. You know that it was basically um, I had been painting mostly homes because I loved architecture and barns, and then when they placed Nathan in my arms at the hospital, I said right to the nurse. I have to paint this child. <laughs> and little, again, never in a million years did I ever think that having a family, mm -hmm. I always thought, mm, goodness, how am I ever going to paint once I have a family? You know, what's this going to do to my career? Oh my goodness, how am I going to fit that in? And, and again, trusting in God. Oh my goodness, he totally flipped it right the other way around and said, you are not only going to paint your children, but you are going to make an absolute um, message mm -hmm. about faith and about hope. Mm -hmm with your family and motherhood, of course, being mm -hmm. the, 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 the foundation. And you dressed them in those Victorian I clothes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. I mean, even to this day, I mean, we've got still the photos to show my daughter with her big bow, you know. And, all. and no. they still love you and, and adore still, you. One of my favorite Nathan paintings. Nathan in his knickers. Knickers, like knickers, yeah. knickers. One of my favorite paintings is of you in the nursery holding, is it your daughter on your shoulder? Yes, yes. And your, the Hello. long, white, flowing yes. nightgown. Is and, that and, bright and eyes? And Whitney, yeah, bright eyes. Again, Whitney near died um, you know before birth mm. and and then of course she goes to this huge crisis at three months of age uh, like an arrested arrested crib death where she literally stopped breathing turned blue and mm. oh my goodness I was like oh my I'm screaming you know I didn't know where the telephone was in the house that's how you go into this panic zone mm. and oh if God not only doesn't spare her life um, but again I called her, her after her, she came through all this. They didn't think that you know her res responses mm -hmm. were normal. They thought she'd lost too much oxygen. So um, when she I called the pastor over to come and pray over her, and he prayed over her, and I prayed not only to spare her life, but that those bright eyes would come back again because she didn't have her, her mm -hmm. she couldn't even smile. Mm -hmm. And so it, he wasn't even out the driveway. And, oh my goodness, I went back to her, her cradle where she was, and I looked at her, and she smiled at me with those bright eyes. And I immediately phoned him and said, you won't believe it, you know, <laughs> it, you, you just missed it. And he goes, yeah. just, just, you just prayed over, you weren't even at the end of the driveway. And she came back and she smiled. And she's been not only normal mm -hmm. ever since, but she has this amazing 
super talent of to write music and to paint and to create and and we have been so blessed so so blessed. and I know we have some pictures of your family uh, before we look at more artwork on the table I just want to share uh, the romance it's the Peterson family your husband is Gary right. Peterson mm -hmm. and we've got pictures of you and there you oh are. Oh my goodness, wow, that's, that's an that. old one. Well, that's, that's our gallery. gallery. That's, that's the gallery. gallery, yeah. That's you and Gary. In Niagara Lake. And you lived in that as your home for two years. Yeah. And oh, there's, you there's little Whitney, the one in the middle, yeah. brightest. Yeah. And daughter Tanya's on the right, and she is our new featured artist in our gallery. And she's she, a, sculpt she a sculpture. She's amazing sculpture. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, she has done so well, and she's so prolific, and we're and very Whitney's proud of And Whitney's very musical. Very proud, yes. Your whole family, though. I know. In the arts and gifts. Here's their Nathan. Again, all of them are right brain like all three of them in fact you know when it came to school it was always the phone call I think we need a tutor for math you know <laughs> like, oh no I can really oh, oh that's a very old oh, job it? it's you and Gary yeah. how long have you been married now 32 years 32 wow. yeah years. this summer was 32 years and what is it, in in the bio and what we were reading about you and you know as we look at the artwork you say that there are four cornerstones to every art piece that you do yes. before you begin, you have to you go through yes. these four points. Yes, and those four cornerstones seem to change oh, as yeah. time goes on. I'm finding, you know, faith always seems to be definitely the cornerstone mm -hmm. in all of them because you keep having to go back to that back again. Every stage I go through in life, and I'm sure all of you can relate yourself. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, even this empty nest thing. Everyone said, oh, how are you handling the empty nest? Mm -hmm. Well, sure, there's mm -hmm. days where you're having a, a time, and then here I am out in the garden, and if all, I kept finding all these empty nests, and I kept looking at it and thinking, these, aren't, these are amazing vessels, these, these nests. Not only raised, she raised her young, and off they flew, but she created this amazing, perfect vessel that, you know, whatever, for whatever instinct these amazing birds have to do this. And I said, we do the same thing. We, you know, we have raised our children mm -hmm. to be the best they can be. And so at each stage of my life, every time I went to go paint, there were all these different cornerstones mm -hmm. that seemed to come into place, you know, whenever I went to the, whenever I went to the studio. So today it's like maybe different than it was when I was 20 years old painting, you know, so. Mm -hmm. But I love that you say, Sorry, shall I set fast? I, I love that you say there are many inspirations for your work, but God takes your hand across the, the white. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Every Service. single time, again, when you went, when we went back to prayer, every single time I go into the studio, I have to ask for His His hand holding mine, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. without that, yeah. I can do nothing. <laughs> and look at what you are doing. Do back mm -hmm. to the coffee table. Yeah. I know that. You've got a couple of Christmas ornaments yes, here. Yes, and as again, well. they are they are basically um, taken from these. The, the ornaments are taken from my children's book, of course, the um, uh, Star for Christmas, and uh, these are the two of the new pieces mm -hmm. and the the Silent Night um, music box. This is uh, one I'm not of sure. My oh, that one there is a gener one? generous Wait, heart. Yeah. God when you open your music, bless when you your open this? Heart. Yes. God bless your generous heart. Sorry, oh. guys. Oh. It's actually wound up. That's good. <laughs> Very nice. We have another one. Shall we do another one? Yeah, Cheryl, I know you wanted to say something. I cut right in there. Well, while you're showing that, what I wanted to really ask is, you know, we've been talking about your faith this entire interview, mm -hmm. and a lot of people probably didn't even know about your own personal faith. You've gone through so much hardship mm -hmm. in yes. your life. Yes. Why do you still we love God? God. <laughs> why do you, yeah, why <laughs> do you still love God? Why haven't you just said? Again, this. You know what? I've even thought of that myself. Sometimes it's amazing how. In spite of all of the, mm -hmm. the times that that I uh, the enemy has always seemed to be ever present, I have never felt abandoned ever mm -hmm. by God, mm -hmm. and that is, uh, and I even look back at that, and for whatever reason, is it his his not, his, not only his presence I have felt his angels' presence in lifting me up sometimes. I mean, one time I was cleaning our fish pond, and I had a seizure and. Um, for whatever, I ended up a back, a backwards instead of, and here I'm leaning forward to clean the koi pond. I could have ended up forward and drowned. Wow. And, mm -hmm. and when I came to and I'm looking up, like, it was as if angels had just went, oh, sucked me back like this mm -hmm. and then bang. And it was like, it's amazing. So I have never felt ever that sense of abandonment, mm -hmm. which I think uh, a lot of people do mm -hmm. end up feeling it during the roughest times in their life. Yes. They say, where was God when, when this mm -hmm. was happening to me? And I have been blessed in that sense. Mm -hmm. that Your life is a message of 
His strength made perfect yeah. in it's your weakness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Absolutely. I, I love that message. Never, you've never felt abandoned mm -hmm. by God because, I mean, you look at Trisha's work and it's so beautiful and peaceful and almost idyllic. But really, we all go through difficult times. Every single one of us on the planet is going to walk through a dark season in our life. And it's, it's how you perceive your surroundings when you're in the middle of it, that you know you're not alone. Even though you might feel like you're alone, you know you're not alone. How do you know that? You might be saying to me, Anne, how do you know? Really, honestly, let's talk real here. How do you know you're not alone? I know who is with me. I have a relationship with Almighty God. And like Trisha said, I feel Him holding my hand when I'm walking through those hard times. And you can too. Mm -hmm. you